So this is a before of my nails. Half of them have come off and the ones that haven't come off are extremely grown out and they're all covered in fake tan and they look disgusting and I'll show you the after now. I'm back from the nail salon. She couldn't do what I wanted because apparently she only booked me for one colour. So I got green. Let me show you from the other angle. One's a bit long, so I'm just going to cut this one down. But yeah, so that's the first step of my glow up done. The next step is starting to pack. Why am I saying glow up? So that is part one of my prep with me was my nails. Second is my eyebrows, I think. Then my hair. Then like fake tan because my hair has gone so gross now. Then fake tan and then obviously my packing but I'm gonna start packing tonight I think yeah hey guys we're having a McDonald's we're doing a McDonald's mukbang no, no. mukbang no. We can't do McBomb because we haven't got any questions because I haven't got any subscribers. Yeah. I got wrap, sweet chili chicken wrap, chips, Coke. Matt got barbecue bacon. Oh, you can actually test that out. I'm testing the nacho bites. He's now. got the nacho bites. And this is our first time testing them. And he's got the barbecue bacon stack, and that's the first time testing that as well. Oh, they're good, but they're spicy, so you can't have them. They're spicy? Yeah. And we've got 20 nuggets to share, but you're leaning on that. Not me, you. You're leaning on that. Can I please try one? No. Please! They're spicy, babe. They're not. They are. They're not, they're not spicy nachos. Right, little gen. Can I have no. the sauce? No. Why? Gentle. I don't really like them. No, I know you don't. You don't like natural cheese, so I don't know why you do that. They are a bit spicy as well. Yeah, I know they are. I told you. Try your burger. No. With a vlog. Because everybody cares. Do they? Mm-hmm. Because it's more on you. Oh, the it's cheese enough. looks like not very nice cheese. The bacon doesn't look very nice either. Oh, shut up. Looks cool, Jess. That bacon looks disgusting. Oh yeah, look at that, I got chicken right at the top. What's your verdict? Um, it's all right. It's mm. not the big tasty. It's all right. Oh, I've got this the wrong bloody way. Don't worry about it. Great. So we're back from our McDonald's now, and I'm currently packing. I'm in my mum's boyfriend's son's room because I'm hiding from Max. I've got to pack his presents. I'll show you the process so far. So, so far I've got a little list here, so far this is all Max presents underneath with a layer of my clothes, still got more to put in. And then Max clothes are here and I've got to put them in on top, but um, I'm just getting stressed. I'm just getting stressed. So I've got quite a lot of things left. I think this is going to be my airport outfit. But then I want to wear my long brown coat. So then I'm thinking, do I want my airport outfit to be like an, an all black outfit? Because that will go better with my brown coat than this. 
these are my biggest trousers Ugh, I don't know yeah I might wear yeah okay I changed my mind on my outfit I'm actually going to wear a white top and my black flares as an outfit and then but like these are quite chunky to pack but then I'm also not a very good packer like I could probably make them a bit neater than that but I'm just like quite a lazy packer So yeah, I've also got his writer's card, so I'm going to do that now actually. Right. I'd say the suitcase is now like 90% of the way done. All that's left to go in there is like my coats, my shoes and my like toiletries, but I'm obviously going to be using them because it's only Tuesday, I'm not going away till Friday. So. My next thing is to cut these jeans to the same length as these because I had to cut these ones when we were in Cardiff. So I'm now going to cut these ones because they're way too long. Um, and all I can say is wish me luck <laughs> because I don't know what I'm doing. Nobody is helping me. I might just take off a little a little chunk to begin with just like that or should I just try them on and, and make lines when I try them on I should probably try them on shouldn't I and this is them on as you can see they're really long okay so I'm gonna start off by doing it like here maybe right i've done them i'm covering my toes with this because i feel awkward showing my toes but this is them like <laughs> so that didn't even take me too long i'm gonna take these off and pack them in the suitcase i haven't even showed you the suitcase i'll show you the suitcase now this is the suitcase we've got and this is it. So we've still got quite a lot of room here because this is like just quite a lot of room to be honest. Like it's they're extremely easy to do up. So we've got a lot of room and we've got we paid for 23 kilos, I think it was, and we're only at 17. So yeah. So I'm now gonna pack these and go to bed. And then tomorrow I've got work. Okay, so you've got one, two, three, four, and you need to make it what? one. Right, so you've got oh, right, okay, one, two, three, four, and you have to make it one, two, three, four, but only moving one coin. You have to make it one, two, three, four, but by only moving one coin. <laughs> I can't see my coin. When did it get it? You gotta move one coin and you have to make it one, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was great. Hello! It is Thursday, the day before we head to Bristol, and I still look like this. So we're on. What am I saying? I'm actually in love with my nails now. Like, I'm fine with them i'm very happy with them i feel like they're really cute and they go nice with my hair 
So yeah, I'm really happy with them now. But yeah, we're heading to my house now. Your office has changed completely. Has it? What do you mean in there? Mm, no. no. I don't think so. She used to office share. Yeah. Um, no, she's a nice one actually. Ah. Oh. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's a good little one. That's nice mine. Yeah. My other. Yes, yeah, so we're well, going I back. I can't have that because these are not. So. Oh, we're just picking up a wash bag for Max, Nan's boyfriend, because he's going away as well, and he wants a wash bag and. Quite a nice one actually from Dove, Dove Man. But yeah, we're going back to mine now. Sorry, I got interrupted. We're going back to mine now. Um, so I can dye my hair because it needs it. Um, I need to dye my hair, do my eyebrows, continue packing, shower, shave, fake tan. So yeah. I will see you when we get back to mine. Oh, look at my, my skin is really bad at the moment. Oh, I've ordered Skin and Me. Um, because obviously, you know what Skin and Me is, unless you've been living under a rock. It's £3.50 for the first month, so I just ordered myself a Skin and Me. I know my skin isn't even that bad, but usually I've got quite good skin. And um, this is just not it for me. So... Yeah, see you when we're back at my house. Hello, I'm gonna start down my hair. I thought I'd just show you a before and after because you've seen me down my hair loads of times. And then this colour. Which is what this is. Got washed out. So this is a... Similar. Ignore how messy it is, but this is a washed out before. And I will oh, look at my fake tan there. And I will show you the after when I'm done. And here is the after. So it's like different shades in it, which I think looks really cute. That could be because I missed bits, but I think it looks quite cute. Um, this will wash out very quickly. It'll probably wash out in like four washes. It'll be back to the colour it was before, but I love it when it's like this. So now, on to carry on and eyebrows. I need to shut this suitcase. I just can't. Oh, there we go. Like, it's literally fine. <laughs> There's loads of room in it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Why can't they move all the things? Okay. Okay. <laughs> walking boots and my puffer jacket needs to fit in here and I don't see that happening <laughs> it's so heavy right we need to weigh it I can't remember if it's 22 or 23 kilograms we're allowed but either way, it's going to be less than that. <laughs> but anyway, this is both mine and Max stuff in one suitcase. We both had hand luggage and then I paid for an extra bag. Ready? Moment of truth. Can I even lift it? <laughs> oh yeah, I don't even think it's past 20. I 
can't even fucking lift it up. Hello everybody. So the next portion of this video is my brow lamination. So this is the um, kit I got. It's from Amazon. Nothing glittery. Um, the only thing it didn't include was cling film. So cotton pads to wipe, wipe with and a tint. So for the tint, I just use Max Beard Dyes, just the Just For Men one. I don't even know what colour it is in. Probably like dark. But um, this says like it's out of date once it's been open for three months and Mac dyed his beard once in lockdown so this is definitely out of date but I still use it and it's still fine I also haven't done a patch test of this I was supposed to do a patch test but I forgot so if my eyes eyebrows fall off then hey ho all the fun so it comes with like these little bits and then instructions which I will be reading even though I haven't done a patch test so it's like oh well so the first step oh, the first is so this is what it looks like the first step is to use the cleanser and clean cleanse your eyebrows okay I guess here we go first step is to cleanse it says use the cleanser to remo remove any oil dirt or makeup residue on the eyebrows so get my this I'm just gonna put the cleanser on this and rub through my eyebrows to cleanse them apply a thin layer of the adhesive onto the eyebrows comb the brows comb the brows onto the skin in the direction and shape you desire using the Y brush or mascara wand I don't want that Y brush so I'm going to use the mascara wand and she wants me to brush it through my eyebrows and then stick it up okay so it's like a little brush like this and then i'm just gonna push it on my eyebrows i might do little a little section like the front bit first am i happy with that i think that's quite looks quite nice I'm going to go and do the other eyebrow because it's already seven minutes long and then I'm going to come back for the next step. Okay, so they're both done. Looking nice, looking sexy. So now I'm going to get this ready. The next step is the lift installation. Um, my wrist feels fine. So I'm just going to risk it but i need cling film i'm just gonna get this ready now oh does anybody else fucking hate cling hate cling film next step is apply the lifting lotion to the brows using that tiny brush cover the area with plastic wrap leave it on for eight to 12 minutes and remove it thoroughly with the Y brush. Okay, so then underneath it, it says recommended developing time. So for the lifting lotion, I would say I've got fine slash thin brows, so that's like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna apply this to my eyebrows, then set a 10 minute timer. Yeah, so. Then I'll sit in with the cling film on them. 
for 10 minutes and I will see you once that 10 minutes is over I'm also cooking a pasta I'm also cooking a pasta bake at the same time so this is going to be stressful but I do like my tripod guys how cute my phone how cute okay so I've put the setting lotion on let it set for 10 minutes and I'm gonna take it off again I think over there no get rid of all the stuff so these are like what my eyebrows are looking like now I mean they're laminated <laughs> that is actually so cool so like look so they're like you can do whatever you want with them now like push them up push them down that's so cool I don't know why I'm so impressed because I have had my eyebrows laminated in the past. So I knew what was going to happen. But I am now going to like sort of brush them into shape. And now apply the tint onto them. And then I usually leave the tint on for about 10 minutes as well. Um, and then yeah, I'm going to wipe the tint off. And then my eyebrows are done. This looks this looks terrible in my camera, but I swear to you, this pasta bake is incredible. So I'm gonna eat this, watch Molly Mae when she's all the way down there, and get back to you when I'm tinting my eyebrows because I haven't even tinted them yet. But look at this, oh, it's so good. Right, so the dye is on, and I'm just letting it sit for a little bit, and then I will wash it off. And come back to you. Hopefully I won't look this crazy. Because they look crazy at the moment. But I'm sure they'll look fine. So here are my finished eyebrows. I am very happy with them. They're quite dark. But that's obviously because I've just dyed them. So by Saturday they'll be fine. But. You can see I'm editing you in the back. But I'm extremely happy with them. I'm really proud of myself for how they've turned out. And I've done them by myself. Like, I'm really happy. That's going to be a thing that I do like every six weeks now. So the final step of my prep with me for Edinburgh is fake tan. So this is the fake tan I'm using. It's the St. Moritz Fast Tan Mousse. Um, I really like it, it smells good and I just, I leave it on all night, um, wash it off in the morning and then I've got my Molly May mitt and my one for my face, oh there's me in the mirror and I'm just going to fake tan my whole body and my face and then go to bed. So this is the end of this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you for what is going to be for me tomorrow, but for you next week. And it's the beginning of our Edinburgh vlog. So I will see you tomorrow slash next week. Bye.